YouTube, Frank Kern here. Once again, trying to do the old double stream. And uh, once again, trying to navigate, making eye contact with two separate cameras to maintain the connection. Maybe I'll just look in the middle and not make eye contact with anybody. Um, all right, a couple things to share with you. First of all, thanks to everybody for all the kind words this morning at our very early morning, like uh, 6 a.m. or whatever time it was, uh, live stream about uh, the true nature of today's marketing, being more holistic instead of having to uh, be really, really good at one thing. Kind of better just to be kind of good at, uh, at all things. So that's the thing. Uh, thank you for paying attention to that. Now what I want to talk to you about is a couple things that uh, might help you. Number one, you'll notice, I've, uh, this is probably uh, the second time, actually you might have noticed in the past hour I've attempted to go live like three or four times, trying to test out all these various ways of uh, going live on multiple platforms at the same time, screwing them up all the time. Um, that's a little bit embarrassing, you know, to like go out to however many people watch this stuff and be like, hey, don't know what I'm doing, I'll be back in a minute. Uh, and I think that fear of looking stupid stops a lot of people from doing stuff. And uh, it ties in with the title of this broadcast right now, which is the truth about your customers and your market. Mine too, by the way truth about all customers and all markets. And we're very, very lucky uh, that this, what I'm about to share with you is the way they really are. Very, very lucky indeed. Hey, Kyle Dillard, nice to see you. Um, all right, I'll tell you the truth about your customers in a minute. First, let me tell you a story. Okay, so we've got these private clients, love them, awesome, right? And uh, one uh, client actually is a, a, a couple partners in a real estate development uh, company. In, uh, here in the States and I'm on the phone with them the other day and we we're talking about uh, some stuff that that we needed to get done uh, since our last conversation so the last conversation I had with them prior to the conversation this week they had some houses that they needed to sell by the first of December so I was like dude hey let's address this major thing you know at hand right now this is the target we've got two weeks you need to sell like these eight properties or something how are you going to do it? And they're like, well, I don't know. You know, we got these, uh, we got this list of people and we have folks that call them and I guess we'll call them and see if they want to buy some houses. And I was like, okay, how about you call them constantly until you sell all of the houses? And uh, they're like, well, all right, man, you know, we'll give it a whirl. And sure enough, um, instead of just kind of arbitrarily kind of leaving them messages, they just kept calling this list of people who actually actively look for investment properties and ended up selling all the houses, which was great. So they hit that target. So in our next call, which was a couple of days ago, um, I asked them, okay, what's, you know, what's December's targets? And it was interesting because here we are now, we were a little bit into the month of December. Um, but they didn't have an answer to that. And a lot of times when I'll ask a client that, like what is your objective for this conversation? What is the target for whatever time period we're talking about? People don't know. Um, and it's important to like actually have a target so you can hit it, but that's not the point of this video. So we finally established a target, right? And the target is, okay, we usually do 21 transactions in a month. Let's see if we can do 31 transactions in December. So their business, really simple, it's made of two things find properties to buy and then find buyers to sell those properties to at wholesale. So I asked them, I said, okay, do you have any problem finding the properties to buy? And they're like, nope, no, nope, no problem right now getting deals on properties. So I said, well, what do we need to do? And they said, well, we normally sell 21 properties. And if we want to go to 31, we got to figure out a way to sell like that 10 extra amount of properties. So, this is where like, our brains can get really creative, which is the last thing you really want to do in a case like this, by the way. Um, so I asked them the question, well, all right, fellas, uh, how do you, you know, what do you do to, uh, to get, the, get the deals done right now? And they said, well, we use direct mail. I said, okay, how often do you direct mail the list? And they said, well, we direct mail the list once a month for this type of, of uh, investor and once every six weeks for this type of investor, and that yields 21 deals typically on average, right? And so what do you think the prescription was to hit the December target, right? So normally they're doing 21 transactions, they would do 31 transactions in December, what do you think I told them to do? I was like, okay, why don't we mail them twice in December, you know? And see like what happens if we mail them once in December, we get 21 transactions, hot diggity, let's mail them twice and see if we'll get more than 21 transactions. Now. 
I kind of make light of that, but here's the deal, right? And I'm just as guilty of doing this as everybody else. So no ivory tower, you know, it's, I'm, I do the same thing, okay? So here's the thing. Our brains do a couple of things. Number one, for I guess it's our blessing and our curse. Our blessing is that as entrepreneurs, we're very, very creative individuals and we like to make stuff and we like to create something out of nothing. And that's awesome and we can. That's what entrepreneurs do, you know? Um, so that's really great. Uh, our curse is as entrepreneurs, we're very, very creative and we like to create something out of nothing. So the very same thing that is our greatest blessing is also our greatest curse because that hyper creativity and that drive to make new stuff often causes us to overlook totally obvious things like, dude, if mailing them one time gets 21 transactions, why don't we mail them twice and see if we get more than 21 transactions? So that's thing number one, but that is irrelevant to the title of this video, which is the truth about your market, the truth about your customers. And here it is. When I mentioned this to the client, they're like, man, you know, I, I could sense the resistance, right? They're like, oh no, we mail them twice in a month. That seems like we're mailing them a lot. And um, I get it, you know, because we think that, and we kind of want this to be true, that our marketplace is really, really paying attention to us. They're like, oh man, you know, and, and we kind of think, we want it to be true that if we email them, they're gonna get the email and they're like, mm hmm, okay, I got this email from Kern. Wow, that's really something. And they're just thinking about it, you know, and they're really paying close attention to us. The truth about your market, the truth about my market is they don't give a damn about us at all, right? Like, we'll, you could send a direct mail piece, like my clients, they could send a direct mail piece once this month. Most of the people aren't even gonna read it, right? Because that's the way it is with mail, same way with email. And the ones that do read it, they're probably gonna forget about it like 10 minutes from now because they're getting inundated with messages and life gets in the way. So here's the thing. If your brain is telling you, oh, I can't make this offer again because I made it again a month ago, or I already made it a month ago, or gosh, you know, I don't want to do a holiday sale because I already did a Black Friday sale and I don't want to burn out the list. What's really happening is you're operating, and I do it too, again, like I'm not ivory towering you right now. You're operating on this completely false assumption that our marketplace actually like really pays attention to us and, and they really just uh, don't unfortunately. Well, in this case, it's quite fortunate that they don't because that means we can mail more often, we can promote more aggressively, and we should mail more often, promote more aggressively as well. You gotta stay in front of them. If you're not in front of them, someone else will be, okay? And someone else will get that attention and someone else will get that business that you should have and that you deserve. So don't listen to this guy up here sometimes. All right, it'll, uh, it'll, it'll blow things out of proportion. Can't wait to see what happens when the clients mail twice in December. Uh, let's see. Who knows? Maybe they'll get 42 transactions. I hope they do. Anyway, thank you all so much for uh, watching these things. Still trying to get the hang of the, uh, what do you call it there, uh, multicasting thing. It's giving me a little bit of a headache. Uh, but nonetheless, we'll get it nailed. And uh, I'll talk to you all later. All right. Let's see. I have to turn off the YouTubes. Maybe I could figure it out. Well, how do you turn off the YouTubes? I don't know. Well, let's see. No, oh, the X button. All right, see you later, YouTube.